Okay, so I'm back with episode six, as probably a few of you, you probably came from season, from episode five. Um, I'm pretty excited to see how that's gonna, how this one is going to go. I don't know if there's going to be anything, you know, crazy on it or not, but I'm pretty excited to see how especially the present situation is going to go, if he's going to see it as, you know, something cute, funny, and like him liking him and him starting to show maybe a bit more, him not pushing him away. Or if he's going to see it as something that he's not going to enjoy pride-wise because, you know, it's going to be him doing exactly what Tin is saying, which is using his money for him. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. And I feel like that's definitely something he could have thought of as well. And he didn't because he's just, you know, he wants to do something for him, which I understand. But yeah, you know, when it comes to that, like, it's a big gesture. It's something cute. It's make him, you know, making him feel better about something. But then it makes him feel like this small. So, you know, I don't know. If you want to, you know, get updated on every time I post these, as always, you can subscribe to this channel so you can notify, get notifications, click the bell. Sometimes notifications do not work, but still, you know, of course, I would appreciate it, at least if you could subscribe, because in that way, of course, you'll always get, you know, the videos here and there. And I update every single time, every single moment I post on my Twitter, so if you want to follow me on there... That's a great way to, you know, get notified as well if YouTube decides to not <laughs> give you a notification. So, yeah, um, I guess that's basically it. Let's go ahead and check out episode six. Okay, yeah, here it is again. The box with the present. I'm sorry, but, like, who told this actor he could be this cute? Who told him? His name is Saint, and he is one. Like, he... No, don't show me the kissing again. It literally was. <laughs> a lot of you told me that it was literally his, like the actor's first kiss because he's that young. He was that young. I don't know how old he is now, but I'm pretty sure he's like around my age, actually, which is crazy to me. Pete, <laughs> I have something to do, actually. Yes. He just doesn't really like you back, girl. That's it. <laughs> the man type. <laughs> Sorry. But I, he doesn't know. The only thing he knows is that he likes kind of him. I mean, like I said, I can't even be mad at her because, yeah, he is the type of man you don't find easily. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. We got some stuff we need to do, you know, we're gonna be busy, and unfortunately, we... We're not going back, are we? Like, what the hell did last episode do? Nothing? Like, for what did we do last episode? For literally absolutely nothing? <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> like, why? No. No. 
So, like, episode five was literally just like a filler. Like, what was the reason behind it? Why did we have that last scene of him finally telling him, you know, everything? If it was for nothing, for it to not change at all. Yeah. He has right. Has actually has the right to be mad right now. He has clearly told him he wants nothing to do with her. I think it's kind of you know yeah. See, she's just a queen. Why are you like this? <laughs> Don't be like this. Come on. I want to see you happy. That's why I'm pissed and kind of being like, you don't don't be like this because I just want him to be okay. This is his new apartment. Boy, you got a place you can take it. No, she's not. <laughs> why are you pretending that? See, this is what I don't really like. He's manipulating himself. Like he. But he likes you. Like, don't you understand that? So a guy you like could potentially be like, well, he's better with that pretty girl. But you're like, well, but I'm not into it. Like, it's not something we can choose. He knows that as a gay guy. Of course he doesn't know if A is like actually gay or bi or pan or whatever, you know. That I can relate to. The fear of getting hurt. I'm getting 10% more actually now, yeah. In a way, you always are gonna be sort of wired to believe that the girl is going to have better chances than you. You know. Yeah, we went back. We literally went back in time. We just pretended episode 5 didn't exist. And I would like to know why. Because I don't get it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, Pete is wired to believe the girl has better chances than him. Okay, so that was part one. And I'm gonna give, you know, Theory time, I guess you could say. Um, I do believe that I see now both sides, I guess you could say. Like, for A, it's annoying because it's like he has said that he wants nothing to do with her. He has been so honest about it. And still, he's kind of like trying to push him into a direction he does not clearly does not want to go. And then when it comes to Pete, I see it in the sense that, I mean, I can personally not say that for everyone. We cannot generalize it. But, you know... It's pretty easy to feel, like, threatened, I guess you could say, by a girl. Even if you know that the guy you're with is actually... If he tells you, like, he is gay and he only likes guys, you're not inside him. You don't know it. I mean, you know. <laughs> you're not, like, physically inside him. You're not his heart. You're not his mind. You don't actually know what's going on inside his brain, you know? You can only think to yourself, well, he probably is like me if you're also gay, you know, and you probably can say, he probably is like me and he only likes guys. But then again, how sure can you be of that? And in his case, he doesn't even know if he's actually gay or if he's bisexual or if he's pansexual or, you know, he has no idea of his actual, where he finds himself in the spectrum, if he even finds himself in the spectrum, you know? And I think A himself doesn't really know that. So although he's telling him he doesn't want anything with her, he's seeing a nice girl that truly seems to like him, that seems to be wanting to fight for him, and that kind of can give him a normal love life, an uncomplicated love life. And he is someone that is completely in love with him, is like, well, he's better off with her. You know, he in his mind, it makes sense. Of course, we as viewers are like, fuck off with that. Like, I don't care. But, you know, in his mind, he's kind of like, I just don't want to get my hopes up and then him end up going to her because it's easier. Especially when we know culture-wise, maybe it's also not so accepted. 
in the world in general, you know, it's always easier to be like, well, he's better off with her. He's probably going to end up with her. So why try? Why should I try? Who am I to try? And yeah, I guess maybe that's what is going on in his mind. I hope he gets a good reality check and he realizes that he definitely needs to value himself more. That's something we all should, you know, learn. I'm out here speaking my truth, but then again, I don't do that as well. I'm this type of person. I could very easily say, well, he's better off without me. Why would he like me? So, you know, we all sort of need that a bit more. We all need to love ourselves a bit more. And yeah. We will easily say to someone else, stop being like that. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You need to. I was almost going to say you look like Lynn <laughs> Okay, whatever. That's a meme from RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know if anyone knows. But yeah, you know, you easily can tell other people to like not be like that, to not self-sabotage and to, you know, be proud of who they are. But then we will go right back and also be like that and sabotage ourselves and, you know, yeah, that's kind of it. So let's go ahead and check out part two. ไอ้ปิ๊งไอ้โบมันหายหัวไปไหนของมันวะป่านนี้แม่งยังไม่พอหัวมาอีกเนี่ยนี่มึงจะรีบเลยแล้วนะเลยตั้งชั่วโมง
กับผู้หญิงน่ารักน่ารักไม่ใช่ผู้ชายแบบเราอืมพูดอะไรของมึงวะไอ้คนทำแบบนี้กับน้องชมพูไม่ใช่เรา Why should we kiss someone we don't want to kiss though like nothing He doesn't like her Oh come on now Yeah sure let's pretend the kiss in the car didn't happen Sure Let's pretend the, the feelings don't happen Sure Wake up <laughs> He does want to get his hopes up, but like it, it, the, he's literally telling you. Closeness, closeness. What are you talking about? That's it's ridiculous. Wow, the acting though. <laughs> yeah, that's what every gay guy tells himself in the mirror. You should like girls. We try, but that's not it. Believe me, kissing her is not gonna change anything. He's trying to protect him. I get that, but like, you're not protecting him by pushing him into a closet he's already in. He is smoothly, actually, and very proudly, sort of openly and alone, coming out of it, which is so difficult. And he, by experience of by himself, of himself and like trauma, <laughs> is pushing him in, and that's not good. But you don't have to go through it alone now. Instead of like not wanting him to have to go through it, be there for him. Exactly. We all could love, would love to live in a world where you know it's easy. But like, it's not like we woke up one day and we're like, "Oh, the wind is going that direction. Let me be gay today." You know, like we didn't wake up and choose that. We wish we would have chosen a different life. We wouldn't have chosen a difficult life. No one chooses a life of hate. Come on now. If it were that easy, we wouldn't exist. Yeah. I envy straight people too. <laughs> Sometimes, not always. But when it comes to moments like these, definitely. Thank God, finally, hallelujah. Wow, amen. I just heard angels. <laughs> wow. Finally. Letting it all out. See the difference? She told him that and he was like... He tells him that and he smiles. There's a difference. There's a difference. I like his voice, by the way, too. 
จะเรากลัวว่าเราจะเสียเอไปที่ทำให้เราคิดถึงตลอดเวลาเลยนะครับเพลงจบไม่จะเกิดผลใครจะมาใครจะมาใครจะเห็นอะไรจะเกิดขึ้นมันจะเป็นไรถ้าจะกลัววันสลายหายไป The straightest place to ever kiss you, <laughs> but it's okay. It's still pretty. Fine. You better not. He has some of the best compliments I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> Pick up a notebook, take notes. That's how you make a guy blush in a girl. I feel like that's not something that is generally just for us. <laughs> Bye. Can the episode end here? Because I kind of love this. All that I needed was this. Dear diary, <laughs> today everything went right. He's the cutest bean ever, and he's taller than him. But it's still, he's still the cutest. What is it this time? It's bad, isn't it? Yo, this music. Oh. Why though? Why? 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 You didn't want to press charges, so why are you looking for him? Why do you want to know about him? Okay, so that was part two, and it couldn't have been better, you know. Like I, I, that was what I wanted. That was what I was asking for. Both of them being honest. Both of them being like, "You listen to me right now. It is not up to me. It is not up to you. It's not up to me. It's not up to her. It's up to our feelings. Like you cannot tell me I should like her. I cannot tell me I should like her." And she could not tell us we shouldn't like each other, and I should like her. Like it's not like that. It doesn't work like that. If it worked like that, no one would have heartbreak because we would all just be like, "I want to like you. You should like me too." Okay, you know, like that's not how it works. If it worked like that, like the human world, potentially it could be better. But I don't even know. I mean, it would have been very boring. So you know. I feel like that's just the reality of it. We know it's not like that, and I'm glad that they finally realize it's not like that. And let's just hope next episode, or even in this next few parts, it's not like they just ignore again that this happened. He wrote in his book that he makes him stronger, and that this time he's not going to stop liking him. And I hate it when they don't keep their promises. So he better keep his promise, because I will come back after him and tell him he didn't. And now my dogs are barking, which we haven't ha heard in a while, actually. So I'm very excited that they finally decided to bring back their essence and be like, "Hello, we're still here." It's a way for you all to know that they're still alive. They're still here. They're still saying hello. They're saying hello to you right now. Say hello back. Um, but yeah, we're going to go into part three. I'm just gonna wait until my dogs decide to stop barking at probably nothing because that's usually what they bark at, or a cat or something like that. Is just You know, going by the street, minding their own business, and my dogs decide to, you know, dog call her, cat call her if she's a cat or he's a cat. No judging. I let my dogs free; they can love whoever they want. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and go into part three. <laughs> Don't buy them. See, that is what I mean by he's not going to be happy because they're expensive, and I don't think he's going to love the fact that he already bought him them. Bought him them? What the hell was that? Oh. 
yeah, the gay panic was real, wasn't it? Love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. That was also a time. That was the day his body told him we feel something. Well, we've all been there. It's... you should. The internet might not have the best information, but he definitely should. เอานะไอ้ปอนแม่งเคยโฆษณาไว้ด้วยนะเว้ยว่าแบบงานบริหารนั่งโต๊ะต้องใช้ปอนส่วนงานกรรมกรต้องมึงอ่ะสมองกู
<laughs> he knows the days. Kinda. Oh, wow. Admitting. You need to put the box at the front because you're not going to be able to, to hold him. He's going to fall! Oh no. Really? I could not. I have no balance whatsoever. You need to be honest with her. Straight up. Tell her. พี่ไม่มาชมพูได้นั่งรอจนเข้าเรียนสายเหรอแล้วมานั่งรอผู้ชายเนี่ยมันดูไม่ดียิ้มอะไรอ่ะพี่โดดอยู่นะยิ้ม
Let's make a deal like this. He just won't give you anything for the next three birthdays. Oh no. That's so bad. I would feel so bad. But I get it, you know, but I, I would feel so bad. I feel bad, but I I knew this was gonna happen. Yep. Oh, she is in the back. Isn't that her? Her hair doesn't, you know, fool me. That's her hair. ไม่มีเลี้ยวซ้ายเลี้ยวขวาแล้วถ้ามึงไปอยู่ในซอยอ่ะมันจะมองเห็นมึงไหมมึงเข้าใจที่กูจะบอกมั้ยคือถ้
they need to be talked about. Even if it is awkward, even if it is, you know, even if it will create wrong sayings from your part and wrong sayings from the other part, even if you are going to say something that is not correct and you're going to have to be corrected on what you're saying, it's important that you still do it. Like, that's why I feel like a lot of people tend to, you know, be robots, not give any opinions, not say anything, because they're scared of the repercussions. And I've been like that, too, and I'm still like that, too. I mean, I talk about stuff on here, and sometimes I see a comment, and I immediately go into, like, panic mode, because I'm like, what if I said something that was completely wrong? But the reality of it is, I will learn, you know, that's important. And I can then agree or not agree and continue or not continue to say the things that I do and say. You know, and that's very important. That's how we evolve. That's how we become better. And that's how, you know, we grow as a human being and as a society and as a world. And that's really important. So I feel like that was a very good advice just generally for relationships, for social issues, for anything. So, you know, he really came through. The writing came through for him on that one. So very good. Let's go ahead and check out part four. Okay, football practice. Cool. He's number seven, my lucky number, bye. Oh, hi. I feel like this is gonna bring issues. I really do. I don't know why, but I have a feeling, a, the ba worst feeling in the world about this. บอกฉันว่าเขาเป็นรุ่นพี่เราตอนมอปลายอ่ะครับในชีวิตฉันเจอคุณตีสองหน้ามาเยอะกับอีกแค่คำโกหกหรือรูบานแบบนายทำไม
ก็รู้แม่งนิสัยเสียแต่ปอนหวังดีนะครับ But again seeing him now I I would feel definitely in the beginning of the relationship and everything that that could be you know he could change just my opinion of him and I would want that so Yes you are What is he doing? Where is he going? What is happening? n i Ken. Yes. m u n Oh. n i I'm friends with A. Come on. m u n g will come to find out about what y o Yeah. Why does he want to talk to him? He likes to talk to me. Very. Why? I understand. If you don't have friends like Mung, you're a bad guy. เนี่ยในเอกับพีมันสนิทกันมากกว่ามันสนิทกันขนาดไหนกูไม่รู้นะแต่มีคนมาบอกว่าไอเอกับไอพีเนี่ยไปกินข้าวด้วยกันทุกเช้าแล้วก็ไอเอนี่ไปรับไปส่งไอพีทุกวันแล้วเวลาไปดูหนังซื้อของกันเนี่ยมันก็ชอบไปด้วยกันขนาดถ้าคนไม่รู้จักเนี่ยคงไม่รู้อะว่าอยู่คนละคณะเนาะทำไม I really don't know why, but I can't see them together. Is that weird? Maybe I'll need to see them actually. Oh, of course you would say that. ฉันบอกว่ามันเป็นความสัมพันธ์ที่น่าขยักขยง Oh, he's gonna punch you. Oh, I can feel it. He's so cute, even when he's mad. I can't. <laughs> Ouch. แต่มึงอย่าไปด่าเพื่อนกูเข้าใจไหมพี่เข้าใจไหมไอ้แคนแคนทำไมวะไอ้แคนไอ้แคนเอ้ยไอ้แคนพี่ฝ่ายผมไอ้แคนพี่ไม่ได้ถูกใจกับหนุ่มเลยนะพี่ด่าผมได้แต่มึงอย่าด่าเพื่อนกูเข้าใจไหมไอ้คนขี้ช้าไอ้เพื่อนไม่รักไอ้คนไม่มีเพื่อนพี่ฝ่ายผมไอ้แคนไอ้แคนอย่าเดินหนีกูดิพี่ผมจะต้องไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนไอ้แคนHe's small, but he he'll fight. Violence does not deal with anything. Just letting you know, I keep saying that. When we see it in shows, it kind of feels great because of how idiotic and stupid some characters are. But in life, really, like that won't fix anything. <laughs> Look at him, so cute. There needs to be something. Let's be honest. There needs to be something in this life that made him hate people so much. Yeah. Where does this idea come from? It needs to come from somewhere. Like I hope that they like show us where it comes from. And I hope you put some ice in that cheek, because it's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. So yeah. Why do we need to be an asshole? Why? Talking to yourself in a mirror is so psychotic. By the way, like, let's be honest. Unless you're like training for some presentation or something. I thought they were doing some voodoo shit or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he is really doing that. Okay. <laughs> oh, it, it, okay. I didn't know that that was actually a way to curse someone. Okay. I can imagine. Oh, she's pissed. You don't. 
Just let it burn. And then blame him. <laughs> Unless you probably would get blamed, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Tyre's coming from France, wasn't it? Where he was? I don't remember anymore. Italy? Somewhere in Europe, I think. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna need to prepare myself for your pie. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> How are you? So not used to it. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Oh, he always talks and talks and talks and talks and doesn't let him talk. <laughs> yeah. I'm way too used to seeing them differently, so like it's crazy to me. And him specifically, I'm so used to seeing him in a specific character. It's gonna take a while. Okay. Okay, so this was episode 6. Didn't expect that ending. It was pretty open, you know, you could say. Didn't really give you any, you know, thing to sort of expect. Unless Tin saying that he's going to show how fragile the relationship is, which just screams and smells like drama, which I did not want to see at all. But yeah. Um, okay, so I guess that's basically it for episode 6. Definitely enjoying the show as I expected I would be. And I'm definitely excited to see that whole mess coming up. Like, how is he going to show it's fragile? It's not very going, going to be very difficult if he plays with the sense of the girl, you know, I feel like at least. <sighs> She's going to get played for sure more and more. So, yeah. But that's, I guess, it. I'm going to try and react to the rest, of course, as soon as possible. And, yeah, I will see you guys the next time. Bye. Is it too